What's up guys, Stu Dog here. Welcome back to more Dueling McDuel commentary. We got P2HS4 here at 1028 going up against Rizo at 1019. So both these guys get very similar ratings. So whoever wins this will become higher than their opponent in ratings and very similar experience as well. Only a 200, not even a 200 point difference in experience. And it's going to be Burning Abyss from Rizo here. Oh yeah. Here we go, boys. Special summon that Livic, normal summon the Alec. So none of these float. I mean, I guess Livic, it kind of floats. Not really, though. But either way, I won't be able to get that Livic graveyard effect because he did special summon it from the hand. Pot of Neg 9 was played before that, so hopefully he didn't banish all that good stuff. And by good stuff, I mean Graf and Sir. And, well, he didn't mill the Sir. Wow. It's phenomenal mills right there. He conveniently... Mill the Phantom Knight's gloves and the Sir, so Sir can bring back that Libic. And he's going to Ghost Ogre his own Dante. Wow. Interesting play. Going to Ghost Ogre her own Dante. And then Sir is going to get back the Dante, I'm assuming. Alright then. And Dante will still trigger, so he'll get a free add back. So he's going to add back that Alec from the graveyard, and... Again, milling that gloves as well. Which you can banish it from the graveyard, send a Phantom Knight's card from the deck to the graveyard as well. And usually the thing you send with this can give you like a free search as well. So there you go. Phenomenal mills from Rizo. Gonna turn that Dante into the Beatrice. And banish the gloves to send a Phantom Knight's card from the deck to the graveyard. What will it be, boys? So it's going to be Boots, and he's going to banish that to add, what, Fog Blade, I guess? Most likely Fog Blade, I'm assuming. But the world may never know. Alright, it is going to be that Fog Blade. So, again, kind of interested why he actually... I mean, I guess he didn't have any other Burning Abyss. Yeah, he didn't have any other Burning Abyss in his hand, so because of him daunting or Ghost Ogring his own Dante, he was able to get back a Burning Abyss and then turn this into a Beatrice. So I guess I do see the logic on that play. Uh, that was the first time ever in my entire life I've seen someone Ghost Ogre their own Dante, but, I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't think I would've thought of that play. I mean, this guy is over a thousand rating. I'll be the first to admit, I don't think I actually would've thought of that, but, well, there you go. So, here's a special summon that Midnight... Mech Knight Blue Sky, and that's going to get met with the Fog Blade right off the bat here. Okay, then. So I'm going to deny that search. It's like, no search for you. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. So, all right, so there's the Purple Nightfall. I was thinking this would be invoked. I'm assuming this is Mech Knight Invoke from P2HS4, but haven't seen an invoked card yet. If it is, it's going to be two of the Dark Horse decks that were able to sneak into the, some of the top 32 um, deck lists at YCSs, but not really the most played of decks, but still a very solid Tier 2, Tier 1.5 decks, for sure. So I'm going to use the effect of the Purple Nightfall to add... Alright, I, I do see the logic of that play. I'm going to Twin Twisters right off the bat. Even though it is technically a neg one on that Twin Twisters, you're going to deny the special summon of more Mech Knight monsters. So, there you go. So, Ryzo is going to pitch the cloak to get rid of the set scapegoat. And there's that magical meltdown activated. So, don't have to fear about another. I don't have to fear another Twin Twisters. And has not yet normal summon. So, there is that Alistair. And without further ado, could we see a Fusion Shogun? I don't know, Beatrice can activate and send like a far fun banish, just I guess. So, let's see. And yep, right off the bat, Beatrice is going to activate, detaching the Dante. And I'm assuming Farfa to get rid of the Alistair for the time being to deny any fusion shogun's, but I don't know, maybe he has some better plans up his sleeve or something. I have no idea. But I'm just going to assume Farfa. Okay, going to send the graph and then special Farfa and then it'll die. So, I'm going to. Detach the graph and get the effect of the Dante. Add back the Sir and 
Isn't that convenient? You played that Pot of Desires and you conveniently didn't ban banish your one and only graph. Conveniently didn't banish your Farfas. We don't even know how many you're playing. And oh yeah, you also didn't banish your Sir as well. It's like, wow, isn't that convenient? It's like you were just picking the top 10 cards to banish with that Pot of Desires, I see. So, yep, there's that Farfa. How'd I know? I'm gonna get rid of that Alistair, and now, most likely, your fusion summons are gonna be stopped for the remainder of this turn. Unless you get, like, another Alistair in your hand, then I guess you can fuse with that, but that isn't really the most optimal play. And, yep, PS, or P2HS, just gonna end his turn here. Alistair will come back. And it's back to Rizo's turn. Got that Beatrice sitting there in face-up defense mode. You can normal summon the Sir and bring back the Dante. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Dealing with this blue sky is going to be kind of annoying. You also cannot attack it. Effects are negated, but you cannot attack it. Compliments to the Fog Blade. So, what is it going to be, Rizo? What is it going to be? So, he's going to banish this ancient cloak Phantom Knights thing. To add a Phantom Knights card from the deck to the hand. Yeah, buddy. Fear and balance gameplay. Just get these free graveyard effects for the price of nothing. Effect what? Yeah. It looks like uh, P2HS didn't really see that banish right there. But yeah. Right off the bat, just going to banish that. I mean, you might as well. It's a free deck thin. And now we're 14 turns away from deck out. Oh my god, could we see a deck out? I wonder if he has another Pot of Desires. Go ahead and play it. Go down to two cards remaining in deck for me. I'd love to see some deck out action, man. That'd be so fun. So, what will it be, Rizo? We know he has the Sir in his hand. We know he has... I believe he added Boots, right? So, we know he has two random monsters. We don't know what the other card is. We have no idea what that set card is. So, let's see, boys. Big shout out to VIP being here in the watchers chat. He's got VIP seats and access to watch this duel live, I, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, let's see what Ryzo is going to be doing. Tour Guide Avatar. Gotta love the Tour Guide Avatar. We've yet to see Tour Guide summoned from him. Maybe Tour Guide was the card that got banished. I'm calling it right now. Tour Guide's banished face down. One of these 10 cards is Tour Guide. I'll bet my life and everything I own on it. Is that a deal, guys? Seems like a pretty good deal to me. Which one? Uh, I'm guessing it's this card right here. This card is the Tour Guide. If I'm right, I win $1 million. So, anyway, Rizo is thinking here. There's not much more to really do to stall the time, unfortunately. You can always go check out the good old public chat. You know how much I love the public chat. <laughs> not really. Finally, Rizo is going to commit to a play. Going to switch that Beatrice to attack mode and kill the Alistair. And the first life points dealt in this duel is going to be to P2HS. Going down to 65 to bring back that purple nightfall because that's you know more fair and balanced gameplay i guess <laughs> so it comes back during the next standby phase i'm assuming yeah banish it until the standby phase of the next turn all right then so i'll be able to get this back invocation is activated I'm gonna banish the alistair and your dante uh-oh he doesn't even, the t doesn't even have the time and day to go into his opponent's graveyard and banish it. He's just like, no, nope, you're Dante. You can do that hard work for me. I'm too lazy to click two extra buttons on my mouse. You do that for me, son. <laughs> you're Dante. I'm not touching that. There's all those germs. Dirty germs. I'm not touching your stinky cards. You banish that garbage for me. <laughs> oh, my man. The Mech Knights are putting in so much work. Here is Indigo Eclipse Special Summoned. To this zone, I guess. Blue Sky, blue sky is going to be bring, search, searching out another blue sky. 
In other news, the sky is blue. Actually, the sky isn't blue. It just looks blue because of the, the pigmentations. Actually, is that a myth? I don't even know. I think that was like a myth or something. But sometimes the sky is gray, and sometimes the sky, when it's dark out, it's black. So actually, the sky isn't always blue. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. It seems like P2HS has the advantage here in this duel. Still has to find a way to deal with this Beatrice, but shouldn't be that hard. You can just freaking crash with it. And then, uh, Mechaba can negate the graveyard effect of this, because, you know, this wants to bring out, like, Fusion Dante or something. It wants to bring out another Dante, because, you know, you can never have enough Dantes. And, wow, hasn't even normal summoned yet, so we can add another Invocation, unfortunately cannot activate it because this is link format if it wasn't link format then sure go ahead and activate it <laughs> and wow heard you like mech knight so here's red moon indigo eclipse blue sky and the purple nightfall all on the field at the same time dang son and it looks like he's just gonna crash with the beatrice with one of these guys and then when this attempts to activate its effect, Metroblood is just going to negate that, and is that enough damage for game? Oh yes that is, oh god. That is more than enough damage for game. So that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, I mean that's already 9, 99, 10, 000, that's 10,200. If I'm doing that mental math in my head, that's 10,200. And he has an Alistair in his hand, oh wait, no he doesn't, he summoned it. I mean, if he does have another Alistair in his hand, that's 11,200 points of damage. So you better hope that's a Mirror Force. Oh, but it is Twin Twister, so I can try to survive him a little longer. I wonder if he's going to bring back... Wait. Oh, yeah, the Dante got banished. I was about to say. Where's the Dante? So he's going to bring back the Sir here. And that'll probably be enough to actually survive Rizo for this turn. Oh, God. It's a miracle. So Blue Sky is going to attack over the Graph. Graph is going to bring out not Sir because Sir is gone. <laughs> going to bring out Skarm and okay then. And wow, it wasn't even to take um take down any of that life point chunk. Still sitting pretty at eight thousand, I see. Unfortunate for P two H S. Unable to clean up that life point. I don't know. Cause he doesn't want to kill the Skarm or what? Kind of surprised on that outcome on that turn, but hey, whatever. So, Ryzo gonna special summon the Barbar -bar here. Still gonna be very tough to deal with this unless you got like a Regeki or something. Regeki! Where's the Regeki when you need it? So, here's that rank 3 XYZ summon. Gonna be Dante Numero Dos. Or is it going to be an Acid Golem? Acid Golem can kill any one of these guys. I mean, come on. Gotta love the good old Acid Golem. You got life points to spare. You don't have to worry about Acid Golem killing yourself or anything. Could go for Break Sword, but that doesn't really accomplish that much. So it's probably going to be Dante here. And yep, there you go. So he's going to go down to what? Nine cards remaining in deck now? Mill three. And we're officially nine turns away from deck out. And those are Ash Blossom, Cloak, and a Foolish. Not really the best of mills at this point of the game, unfortunately. And now P2HS has to think, and is he ghost ogring or is he okay, so he's ogring. That's a pretty solid ghost ogre. For the second time in this duel. Dante's getting ghost ogred. The first time I got ghost ogred was turn one when Rizo actually ogred his own Dante to go for that Beatrice. Which again, that was a pretty cute play, I guess. 
Yeah, we'll not be able to get that barbar effect because you did special summon that. So nice try, bro. Nice try. So we'll get the Dante only. Targeting Sir has not yet normal summon, so I guess you could normal that or special something, I don't even know. So yep, abusing that Sir like there's no tomorrow. Man, it seems like eventually. Eventually. You're gonna die! You're dead, son! So the scoop phase. He refuses to scoop. He's one of those guys. He's like, no, I will not scoop. Me no scoop. I play it out to the end. How long has this duel been going for? This has already been a 15 minute duel, so wow. For the first time in like over a month. Seems like we're going to get a 20 minute episode of Dueling McDuel commentary. It's been quite some time since we had a video over 20 minutes on this segment. The last one to go over 20 minutes was that long 50 minute episode of that Pendulum Magician versus Zombie Sworn. Oh my god. I still have nightmares about that. How the frick did I sit there for 50 minutes? I don't even know. But anyway, we have no idea what the frick Rizo is doing. Like, come on, Rizo. Do something. Don't think. Do something. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, big shout out to uh, Kassin4, who apparently is a fan who wants to duel and be on YouTube. Oh my god, really. I want to be on you. If you want to be on YouTube so bad, just make up your own YouTube channel and post a video. Uh, it's not that hard. There's plenty of free screen recorders out there. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Come on, Rizo. 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 Why are you doing this to me, man? Check out this public chat. We got longtime dueling network veteran Soldier One Two Three X talking up a storm up in here. Dang, son. Talking about Ojamas? You mean Obamas? <laughs> Never gonna forget that reference. Back when uh, one of my good fans, Malefic D, was in the Watchers chat, and I just. I pressed the watcher's chat button and the first thing I saw was just Obama Trio. I was like, really? Obama Trio. That's so funny. Oh my god. So finally, after all this stalling, Rizo decides to commit to a play. Here's that breaksword summoned. And is that going to get negated with the invoked Makaba? Do it. Looks like, yeah, he's going to be pitching the monster in his hand. This will get banished. And is it over yet? He has the Sir in his hand, right? It's the only card in his hand. So he's going to special the Sir in attack mode. Kill the Alistair. And still quite a bit of damage on board. Not quite game, though, since you're still at 8,000. But it's going to be almost game. Assuming that you top like a monster, you can negate the Sir once you kill it. Which would be a decent idea. Oh yeah, and he also gets the Skarm effect. Forgot that Skarm even died. It happened way too long ago, and wow! You're telling me you played Pot of Desires, you didn't banish your one tour guide, you didn't banish your one graph, and you didn't banish your one Sir? Wow. Sorry guys, looks like I lost that bet. I thought for sure the tour guide was banished. I was like, this card right here, that was the that was the freaking tour guide. Wow, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Really? What the frick did you banish with desires? You didn't banish like any limited? You must have banished Regeki or something. Like, dang son. Like all the freaking limited monsters. You conveniently just don't banish with the desires. Like you gotta be kidding me, man. I call hacks. I'm just saying, I call hacks. Holy smokes. So, speaking of Pot of Desires, PS, P2HS top decked one of his own, and he's gonna 
use the effect. Uh, what's the one that? Oh, it's gonna be this one. He's gonna use the red moon, banishing the nightfall to pop it, and then match negate. Attack for game. Game over. Game over, son. Nice try. This duel lasted much longer than need be. Already a 20-minute duel. We still got game two and or game three. So, yeah. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Wait, you can't affect Valor on your own main phase? Noob, noob. He's trying to affect Valor on his own main phase. <laughs> just kidding. Actually, I have seen some people try to do that before. Just affect Valor on their own main phase. It's like, bro, opponent's main phase, not your own. So, yeah, game over. So, 2000, 2023. Playing around that Gores. Playing around the gores perfectly. <laughs> and yep, that's going to be a wrap. So thank you all for watching the first duel. We're going to pause the video and be right back with game number two. Alright guys, we're back. So, here we go. Dante summoned again. What a very fun and interesting strategy you got there. And again, he's milling pretty good. Conveniently mills that Skarm. Ooh, and he side decked the Vanity's Fiends as well. Vanity's Fiends, pretty good card against Invoked. And wow. There you go. There you go. Just special everything. Special all three Birding Abyss. Go for the Dante. Tribute for the Vanity's Fiend. End phase. Add that tour guide to set the the back row, you know. I didn't think we see... I, no, I didn't think we saw any Solemns. So could this be like a Solemn? That will just be a wrap. So there's that tour guide, and good luck for P2HS4. How are you going to deal with this this Vanity's Fiend? As we didn't see any like Dark Holes or Regekis or anything. But we'll find out shortly, I guess. LOL. <laughs> so there is magical meltdown activated gonna set a monster and end uh oh where's your regeki bro no back row whatsoever as well so dante is gonna mill three here probably attack with a vanity's fiend first dante oh or you could just banish with the farfa and the barbar two for an extra 900 burn and I'd more than happily use the Barbar to banish like the useless Cow Cab, the useless Alec, and I guess the Skarm as well. I think I'd banish those three. Also going to do that. And he's just going to normal summon the tour guide for an extra thousand. Oh no, just kidding. He actually alec his own freaking guy. I didn't even know he could do that. I thought Alec had to be opponent's monsters. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Because I remember a lot of people used Alec. In the past to negate their own flying scene. Well, that was a fast game. Dang, son. That was only like a two-minute game number two. So, well, still anyone's game. We're going to pause the video again and go into game number three. Vanity's Fiend's too strong. All right, guys. Here it is for all the golden marbles. Game number three. That effect, Valor, duh. Get in there. So, no free search for you. You get nothing. It does put a light in the graveyard at least, so if he already has the invocation conveniently in his hand, he can just play it and be like, Oh, thanks for the free light target, son. I had it the whole time. So Rizo, he's just praying. He's crossing his fingers that... Wow, really? <laughs> really? Monster Reborn, your opponent's Fact Veiler. And he's going to Link Summon here for the Link Garibo. Wow, was that even worth it? I guess it was worth it, because it puts two things in the same zone. Especially some of that purple nightfall. So it looks like Rizo crossing his fingers worked out and his opponent didn't already have the invocation, but still putting that effect Valor in the graveyard kind of sucks as the only reason any of this is even happening because he put that effect Valor in the graveyard. So he's able to get that search off that and this is going to be coming back next turn, right? He's going to be coming back next turn. And that pesky Link Karibo, which is kind of annoying to deal with as well. So, let's see, Rizo. 
What's it gonna be, man? Five cards in hand to work with. Since he did um, use that Valor, of course. And it looks like... Wow. He gets the graph all three games. He got the graph last game, too. He got the graph this game as well. And he milled the graph, I believe... Uh, and actually, I think he milled the sir. He didn't mill the graph in the first game, but he did find the graph. He found it, I believe. How do you remember how he got the graph? He might have milled it the first game, actually. I don't even remember. All I know is for game two and game three, conveniently open graph in your opening hand. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> so, graph going to be killing off that Link Karibo. Not going to use the effect. Just gonna let it die. Let it die. Let it die. And that Libix can attack on the Alistair. And this will bring P2HS down to 7,000 life points. I mean, Phase 2 can make that Dante detach the graph. And get that effect, of course. So there's that beautiful Dante. And he's actually going to detach the Libic instead of the Graph, so he doesn't really want the Graph effect. And, oh my god, this kid mills so good! Holy smokes! Conveniently mills a Boots and a Skarm, so he can get the free search off the Boots and the free search off the Skarm. Wow. Any of you guys are having a hard time milling in mill based decks, I'd recommend to go uh, message this guy. And have him teach you because holy smokes this guy's been milling amazing all three games like seriously even that first game he still milled really good like dear lord these mills are insane it's like a free plus two off those mills gonna detach or er, discard the alec to go for the beatrice that's super pesky to deal with of course Gonna set one card phase down in the field, end phase, get that free tour guide off the graph. Or off the scarm, rather. Oh my god, I keep saying the wrong name. What am I doing? I got graph on my mind. Two pro. So, yep, there's that tour guide. That's three straight games of adding the tour guide off the scarm. And during the standby phase, this purple nightfall will come back to the battlefield here. Let's see what P2HS is going to be doing. I don't know what that stands for, P2HS. No idea. But it has a nice flow to it. <laughs> so, Alistair Normal Summon. That will bait out the Fog Blade. And he's going to set a card in this zone right here. So he can special summon the Blue Sky. When Rizo gets to think. Oh, man. We're thinking, boys. We're thinking. So uh, yeah, the beautiful Beatrice with the floaters. You got a floater in the pool. I repeat, a floater in the pool. So much floating. Like, look at this floating. Oh, my God. His effect isn't quick, right? What, you mean this guy's effect? <laughs> this card is a normal special summon for my hand. We can add one. What do you mean quick? It activates when it's summoned, right? Uh, no, it's not a quick effect. It's a quick effect can be used on either player's turn. It doesn't say anywhere on this card text that can be used on either player's turn. I'm not reading anywhere, unfortunately. So, yeah, lol. <laughs> yeah, it's trigger effect. It's like summon, get the effect. It's like a Satellite Ganem, summon, get the effect. So, I don't really know what we're waiting for now. Ryzo's still thinking, do I be a tree? Do I not be a tree? What do I do? Someone help me. Alright, it's finally good, guys. Don't worry, it's good. We did it. We did it, boys. It's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a whole bunch of watches up in here in a matter of seconds. Dang, son, where y'all come from? About time. Too bad it's only um, 30 minutes too late. You guys are only late by 30 minutes. I'm sorry. VIP's been here the whole time, though. Let's make shout out to VIP. He's the true fan. All the other guys, fake fans. <laughs> but uh, heaven only knows how much longer this game 3 actually is going to go for him. So, for going so many consecutive weeks of not getting a, a match last longer than 20 minutes, this is already 30 minutes and counting this duel right here. So, yeah, buddy. Can't. And apparently, someone can't do something. Uh -oh. 
You can see a little soft cheat right there. Sorry about that, yeah. No harm done, no harm done. Caught the cheat fast. So there's that indigo eclipse, and now we're gonna think again. Think on add, so you don't summon it yet. He wants to summon it. And finally, Rise is gonna use that Beatrice effect to detach the graph here, and... Now we'll be able to get a free Foolish Burial and the Graph Effect to summon a Burning Abyss from the deck. So isn't that pretty tight? <laughs> great stuff, man. Great stuff. So we're going to be sending Interrupted Kaiju Slumber from the deck to the graveyard. Is that any old random spell card? Send one card from your deck to the graveyard. Yep. So I'm just going to send any old random spell. So that's going to be Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Graph's going to bring out the Farfa. Farfa's going to banish that Alistair. Okay, he still has one in the graveyard, lol, but sure, I guess. <laughs> sure. You do that, man. You do that. You do that. So I guess he really wants the fog blade to lose its target. So he really wants the fog blade to lose its target for some reason. And what do you know? There's that invocation activated. As we have another Alistair in the graveyard. And again, P2HS refuses to touch his opponent's card. It's like, no, your cards are dirty and stinky. I'm not touching your cards. You banish it for me, son. Even though it's not that hard to click your opponent's graveyard and banish something, unfortunately. P2HS, he doesn't want to do that for some reason. <laughs> Whatever. Beatrice still going to be the biggest pain in the butt to deal with, though. Like, how you can get past that juicy booty? 2,800 defense points. Let's find out. <laughs> I guess we can match, attack, pitch the Alistair, and then, like, use the effect to negate the Beatrice. He's still, he'll still get the Dante, but, I mean, I guess he'll deal with it, using a lot of resources to deal with it, but, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Unless I set cards like Compulse. When it comes to Compulse, you Compulse a long time ago. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, yeah. End. We're just gonna end his turn? Wow. So he's not going to use extra amount of, amounts of resources to kill this Beatrice. And yeah, there you go. And my god, these watchers literally cannot make up their mind. Holy smokes. Hey, Sue Dog, watch your vids. Thanks, man. Even though you're not here anymore. Thanks. These watchers can literally not make up their mind. <laughs> we have two watchers, we have three watchers, and we go all the way up to like six or seven watchers. Then we go all the way back to down to three. It's like, bruh, do you want to watch or do you not want to watch? Seriously. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, it's back to Ryzo's turn. He's got five cards to work with. Along with the free Beatrice effect and banish that slumber to get a kaiju, but he's just going to go straight in battle phase here. And attempt to crash with that match, huh? And let's see if P2HS is going to discard that Alistair in his hand to uh, pump this up to 3,500 attack points. And also the defense, too, so technically 3,100 defense as well. And I mean, why wouldn't we think, man? This is going to be a 40-minute video, boys. Oh, this is already 35 minutes. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. 40-minute videos are back. Don't worry, guys. It was a nice month while it lasted, but I knew it wouldn't be able to last forever. And wow, I was actually just going to let it go. So we're going to get the Beatrice and the Dante. So I'm going to get in there. So chain link to Dante. That's going to add Farfa from the graveyard back to the hand, and then the Beatrice is going to special summon... The Fusion Dante, most likely, from the extra deck here. And yep, there it is. There's the Fusion Dante. And I wonder what that's gonna kill. Oh, I'm gonna switch the zones. Chet! You already, no take backs. You already declared the other zone. Admin call. Let's make this video longer. You guys wanna see an admin call? I don't mind seeing an admin call. How many admins are online? We got one admin online. It's gonna be like, uh, sir, you clearly summoned it in this zone. No take backs. Put it in that zone. Put it, er, you'll be like, put it back to that zone. I want this free win. So thankfully, not actually gonna call an admin about that. And I'm just gonna tack into that purple nightfall. And yep, all this does happen during the battle phase, of course. And then phase two, let's see what else Rizo has up his sleeve. What is it, Rizo? What do you got? So I'm gonna use the effect of the other Dante. I'm gonna pitch a storm to draw one card. But yeah, what a nice comeback here. P2HS had all that fun stuff on the field. He had all those mech knights and that Freaking fusion monster. But Ryzo is able to clean up all that with the greatest of ease, it seems. And what if he has a vanity screen? He's not yet a normal summon, and a random vanity screen would put in a decent chunk of work about right on now. Can banish that slumber for a free gamma seal. I mean, you're not going to use that gamma seal now, obviously, but I mean, can come in handy later, I guess. Foolish burial activated from Ryzo. That is okay. And wow, it's actually playing Fairy Tale Snow and Burning Abyss. The guy who topped with YCS playing Fairy Tale Snow, I have no idea, but not a common card you see. So is he actually going to banish seven cards for Fairy Tale Snow and then tribute it for the Vanity Stain? No, he's going to go for another free search first. But I mean, he's almost halfway through his deck and we haven't seen one Vanity Stain. So it's either he sided out the Vanity Stains when he's going second, or they're all just sitting in that deck. But it looks like he's actually not going to go for the Vanity Stain, he's just going to set a monster here, and he's also going to set another card face down. In the Smell and Trap card zone, and in phase, you can't forget that Storm. you got to give this guy some props, he's not forgetting Storm. There's sometimes his turns are lasting super long, and a lot of people would have forgotten about their Storm searches. This guy, he's not forgetting. He's like, nah, son, I ain't no noob, look at my rating. I ain't no noob. I'm not going to forget my Storm Search in your dreams. So I'm back to P2HS's turn. Stand by phase. Gonna get this guy back. So congrats, I guess. Oh, and this guy back too. All right, then. <laughs> Cause, oh, did this guy actually with the Farfa, I'm assuming? All right, whatever. <laughs> so 
So what will it be now, boys? Why two? Uh, I believe Farfa banished one of them, right? <laughs> or not. I'm oh, just kidding. I don't know anything. Two purple effect. Okay. So I'll apparently use this guy's effect twice. Purple with two times the effect. Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever he says, man. Whatever he says. So my god, this match has been going on forever. Fishing a 40 minute video. This could go up to 50 minutes. This could easily go up to 50 minutes. Because this is still anyone's game, man. Oh my god. And now I expect this to be a 50 minute video. Like, holy smokes. Especially after only a two minute game two. Game two is only two minutes long. God dang, son. So there's another Alistair that's going to get met with the Fog Blade. Twin Twister chain with the Fog Blade. We'll be pitching another Twin Twister as cost. So I'll be able to get that invocation search. Don't mind if I do. And once he plays the invocation, Ryza has to be very cautious because if he doesn't use snow upon that activation, you already know that P2HS is going to banish that snow. But anyway, the Mech Knights keep coming here. There's another blue sky. Get in there, boys. Pleiades? We're not mind the Pleiades right about now. Just exceed these two for Pleiades, bounce that back, and like, try to wrap up this duel. Yeah, dang, son. But he's probably not playing Pleiades. Even like a random 101 to Castell to eat this up would be decent. <laughs> All right, so looks like it's gonna be Link summon time. He's the two Alistairs, Blue Sky, two Blue Skies for Link four. Thanks, son. So there's that expensive Borderlord Dragon Link summoned. Super expensive as always. I think it's still a solid sixty dollar card. Wait, last time I checked, it's not sixty. It's still at least fifty or fifty five. <laughs> Gotta waste all that money on this this cardboard. So Farfa cannot banish this, but I mean, I guess he can banish that. <laughs> Don't you dare try to banish the Farfa or the Borderlord with the Farfa. Oh, he's gonna banish his own monster. Oh. Okay then. Interesting. Invocation's still coming. So first we get to see the purple nightfall special summon here. Easy effect banish itself. Blue sky. And there's an invocation. And now we wait. Anything? You better use that snow. You better use that snow. Because if you don't use that snow, that snow's getting banished. So let's see, Ryzo. Oh, of course you gotta think. And alright, you're gonna be the graveyard and probably gonna use the snow. I'll probably do that, just pause the video just to save some time. I really don't want this to be a 50 minute video. Alright, boys. <sighs> Gotta speed some of this up, unfortunately. I mean, I guess I could technically speed it up and make my, make my voice sound so high pitched and everything and be super funny. I did that once before. Actually, that's actually a good idea. I probably might do that. <laughs> right. It does save quite a bit of time. So, yeah, he did use the snow, took him forever to banish seven cards, brought that on the field. And he actually used the effect with the mech on the field. And I got banished. All these guys will get in there for 25 and 3,000. In phase, fog blade effect. You know, revive cloak, and then you can't forget your, your guy. Can't forget your Fusion Dante. Fusion Dante does come back. Fusion Dante does come back. Don't forget your Fusion Dante. Oh, it looks like you forgot his Fusion Dante. Too late. Can't get it back now. Well, did he really just forget his Fusion Dante? Where the frick is this? He banished this with his own Farfa, right? Did he? He banished the Fusion Dante with his own Farfa, but unless there's something I'm missing. Well, it seems like he forgot his Fusion Dante. LOL. Oh. Well then. Oh, there's two guards summoned. Ryzo summons his avatar. Oh my god, bonus points for winning this. Oh man. Very good doing book. I mean this is a, I know, I know, this is a pretty good match, but it's way too long. Like dang son, these kids would already be in time by now. Like holy smokes. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know. Like, get matches only gonna be like five minutes, eight minutes long, or sometimes like fifty minutes long. Seriously, man. Seriously. Please just end for all that is holy. I still got other videos to record too. I know that's the worst part. Like god dang son. Please, I got kids, I got stuff to do. End this. <laughs> oh man. So Ryzo, what will it be, man? He gave his opponent the gamma seal. Still have to deal with this somehow. Only got a fire lake. Where's that fire lake when you need it? Anything <laughs> about turn two burning abyss, I'm just saying, like, if he could get two burning abyss, fire lake. Seems like a lot, a lot of situations in this match. Especially game two, they need that mass removal, need that regeki or dark hole, kill that vanity stain. Seems like right now a regeki or dark hole will put in so much work. Not even funny how much work that would put in. So there's the underclock taker link summoned. And apparently, either I'm an idiot or these guys are an idiot. Either way, someone's an idiot. Someone's an idiot, guys. Because <laughs> what the frick happened to this fusion Dante? I swear to God, Farfa banished it. He banished his own guy because he didn't want his opponent to steal it with the Boro Lord. Or maybe there was something I'm missing that the fusion Dante got banished by something else and it wasn't the Farfa. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. Either way, I thought Farfa banished this, so I don't know how this fusion Dante is still banished, but whatever. Whatever! Who cares? Oh my God. What is your channel, Stu Dog? Oh, he's not, he doesn't know about me. Oh, I'm getting free subs! Yay! 
Oh yeah, that's great news. So at least one good thing came out of sitting here for 50 minutes, guys. One good thing came out of it. I got a free subscriber, PTUHS. He says right here, and he will subscribe to my channel after this match. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> one good thing came out of this, guys. A new subscriber for me. Oh my god, it was totally worth it. Totally worth it. Uh, big shout out to Kings 2 MLG for you, Rainbow Dash, VIP and Zacky Cards. Man, VIP, you gotta give VIP some credit. He's been here the entire time. The entire 50 minutes he's been here. God, means a lot, man. Ah, man, looks like nothing's happening. He's thinking again, and we're gonna pause again. Alright, so, he finally decided to exceed for something over the Break Sword. And then he special summoned his own Kaiju, and used the Break Sword effect to kill both the Kaiju. So, Break Sword killed double Kaiju here. Ryza is still not done. Seems like getting rid of this Boar Lord is not going to be easy. I mean, how are you dealing with that Boar Lord? I still don't really know, but... Whatever. If it's Popsicle, it's possible. I'm going to special summon that Boots. Okay, then. And he's going to Link Summon with his Link Monster here. For a Link 4. There you go. What Link 4 will it be? It's going to be a Boar Lord of the Zone. Okay, then. Pretty tight. So there's a fact to bring back. Oh, there's nothing really good to bring back, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, none of these aren't really going to... I'm going to guess the Graph. I guess I'm going to bring back the Graph. Yeah, what is Graph going to be? Foolish barreling, essentially. Okay, Skarn, fair enough. Fair enough. So, Boar Lord's going to attack another Boar Lord. It's going to be a Boar Lord off. Everyone gets a Boar Lord. You get a Boar Lord. You get a Boar Lord. Everyone gets one. No, we're not having another Oprah giveaway. We had an Oprah giveaway last week. Not having one this week. I'm sorry. No. Oh, my God, man. Get in there. Using the effect. Oh, man. Attacking for 3,000 points directly here. This will bring P2HS down to 37. And in phase, this should just die, right? And we back to P2's turn, and uh, we'll get one of these back, right? Still being relatively low on resources. But man, this game three. Holy smokes. I thought game one was long. Game one was like, what, 20 minutes long. But holy smokes, this is game three. Oh my god. And the problem is I can't just not, I, I can't just not get matches. That's the thing. Because, like, half the time, if I just get single duels, then they're not nearly as epic. And most of the time, they're going to be over in, like, two minutes or three minutes. Like, half the time, if you find just a random single duel, it's literally over in, like, three to five minutes, which is, like, what the frick is the fun of that? <laughs> so in phase, I'm going to add that bar bar. Oh, this won't die to the next end phase. Oh, yeah, so the next end phase. So he still has it for now, I guess. LOL. Stand my phase, get back to these bad boys, and here we go again, boys. Well, somebody just win already! Speaking of pulling stuff, the last time I was at my locals, I called someone pulling an ultimate rare out of their OTS pack. What was it? And there's a lot of bad ultimate rares, and there's a lot of good ones. You can't just say ultimate rare. Ulti variant fusion? Ah, oh, nice. Oh, man. Those are like, what, $60, right? I mean, I guess last time I checked it was like 50 to 60 dollars. LOL, that trap. Yeah, we gotta deal with that fog blade. Gotta deal with that fog blade, son. Gotta deal with it. Oh, man. I mean, this is gonna be an hour long. Wow. This is actually gonna be an hour long match. It won't actually be an hour long in the video because I'm gonna speed it up and sound like a chipmunk. Because I already made that decision, so. Uh, chipmunk Stew Dog coming your way for the second time ever in one of my videos. I'm gonna sound like a chipmunk. So, hopefully you guys like that. LOL. These guys, man. These freaking guys. I can't, the thing is, I can't just leave the game because I'm just going to sit here for 50 minutes just to find out. Or just to leave and not find out who wins. I mean, what's the point of that? LOL. <laughs> like, seriously. There's no point. Be like, no, I've had enough. Let's just leave. Be like, yeah, after you guys. No one's going to find out who wins. You both lose in my world. Ha! Huh! Alright, so you're going to switch his guys to defense mode. And then once you end your turn, this warlord will die, correct? The normal summon Alistair. I'll be out the fog blade, right? Yep, there we go. That's the third and final. Or is that the second? No, it's the third and final fog blade used. So, uh, yep, you knew that was coming. You knew that was coming before it even happened. <laughs> so, and phase means the Boar Load effect targeting the Alistair. Reduce it down to, what, zero, I guess? Reduce it down to zero attack. Problem is you can't attack it because Fog Blade, but... I mean, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, son. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, it's actually been going on for an hour. Because I did pause this, and we paused at least, like, three minutes. This is officially an hour-long duel. An hour-long match going on here, boys! Thanks, son. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously. This match refuses to freaking end. It literally refuses to end. Oh, man. 
not even paying attention anymore. So, yep, Unanimous turn, the other Boralord will die. And it's back to Ryzo's turn. And for anyone who has stayed this entire time, for 57 minutes in real time, I'm speeding this up, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but still quite a bit. I still would love to know what the frick happened to this freaking fusion Dante. So if anyone in the comments has been here the entire time, it would be nice to clarify what actually happened. Did he actually forget to bring it back with the Farfa, or did he get banished on some other, or from some other reason that I just didn't know? I have no idea what happened to this freaking fusion Dante, but I don't know. It's the mystery. It's the mystery of this match. What happened to the fusion Dante? Because I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. <laughs> oh my god, man. What the frick am I doing? So it's back to Ryzo's turn. Just 13 more turns until you deck out. Now how about you just play that Pot of Desires in his hand? I know you got like a Pot of Desires probably. As he has not played one this duel and we know he's playing it. We've yet to see a Vanity Fiend as well, so I guess he only is siding in the Vanity Fiends when he's going first. As we saw double Vanity Fiend last game when he went first, and now that he's going second this game, he must have sided out the Vanity Fiends. All you do is play that Pot of Desires in your hand, go down to one card left in deck, and then deck it out and lose, but whatever. So we're gonna give his opponent a Kaiju here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and he just, I believe he just normal summon a Farfa and banish the Alistair to lose the target on the Fog Blade. Borla's gonna attack into the Kaiju, I'm assuming. Okay then. <laughs> take? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is gonna take it. I don't know why you wouldn't take it. <laughs> That'd be pretty stupid. Take it? Nah, nah, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't wanna win the duel. It's already an hour long, you know what? F it. F it. I don't wanna win. Hour long match. Let's make it two hours. Let's play like idiots. <laughs> So I'm gonna use the Fog Blade effect during the battle phase. Gonna revive. Ooh, the Breaks are in. Pretty solid card to revive. This will get in for two grand. Bring in P2HS down to 17. Main phase two. End your turn. All right. So back to that P2HS. Gonna get that Alistair back. Unattached with the Fog Blade, of course. And we got four cards to work with. Where's that Regeki? We need it. We haven't seen a Regeki or Dark Cold this entire match. Just nothing. Hmm. Yeah, this is um, game three, by the way. <laughs> Another Alistair drawn. Gonna set the invocation in the far left pendulum scale zone so we can summon the mech knight. So, yep, there you go. And this is the one that pops stuff so we can banish a mech knight to kill the break sword. And I can banish the fog blade, I guess. Then you can flip over that invocation and hopefully do something. I don't know. He's gonna link summon, I guess. Alright, so he's gonna link summon first. Both the Alistairs for the underclock taker. Ooh, could this be game. Well, let's see, if he um, plays the invocation, summons something, underclock take effect on this, is, I don't know, is that game? I'm not in the mood to do math. I'm not in the mood at all to do math. <laughs> yeah, not even remotely in the mood to do math right about now, but could be pretty close to game. Oh, there you go, we're gonna recycle that Alistair. He's playing fast, uh-oh, looks like he's got something. Unless we have to think. What the frick is there to think about now? He doesn't have snow. He can't activate any, I mean, I guess he could use that, right? But using the Boiler is stupid because when the game vanishes, banish him, that doesn't target, so I mean, I don't even know. There you go, one hour! This is the first time ever I've seen one hour on my Camtasia. Oh, this is a beautiful sight. One hour on my Camtasia. Get in there, boys. First time ever I've seen the one hour mark since I have gotten Camtasia. Dang, man. Insane. Thankfully, this won't actually be one hour when I actually upload it. But holy smokes, man. You gotta be kidding me right now. So, damage step. Could use this guy's effect. Uh, is that enough for game? Please tell me it's enough for game, please. Use a board load effect, okay. I don't know why you did that, because it's just gonna get negated, right? Can't respond. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. Alright, right. forgot about that. LOL. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. Rip. Well, that sucks. Frick. Cannot respond to him. I said Alistair after board load resolve. Okay, we're getting pretty technical now. <laughs> And we are ready to damage step. And oh my god, they're gonna get into an argument and call an admin. I'm literally just gonna kill myself right now. No room to do more from there. Do you? <laughs> uh, I don't even know what you're even talking about anymore. I swear to god, you guys better not get into an argument. You guys better not call an admin. You better not. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Ask Watcher or Public or Admin for a while. Oh my god, are they actually gonna call an admin? No! No! Are they actually gonna call an admin after sitting here for an hour and five minutes? They're actually gonna call an admin. They're gonna end up killing each other. I know, right? Oh my god, F, we're pausing this. Alright guys, we got a judge! Oh my god! I only wasted another 20 minutes out of my life waiting for it to come, but a wild judge has appeared! Oh my god! Morning, it is anything but morning. What do you mean morning? Morning if you're in Australia, maybe. Tried reasoning with him and he didn't respond, so yeah, seems like multiple guys in his watchers chat tried to PM uh, Ryzo what was going on, but he refused to listen here. And without further ado, let's see what the judge is going to say.
All right, so my opponent attacked with Mitch on my Kaiju, which has 20 attack, no, 200 attack, right? No, 200 attack from the Underclocker effect. And damage step, Boilet effect. Is there any room to use Alistair? Yes, after, like he said. All right, so it looks like the judge is already going in favor of our player in the red here, which sucks for Ryzo. Sucks to suck. Is it really worth wasting an extra 20 minutes just to have this admin come? Seems like it was. I mean, hey, these guys wanted it to be a two-hour video. Looks like they're making it a two-hour video. <laughs> just saying. I can't get it. I mean, what is next after damage step? Seems like Ryzo still is refusing to cooperate or just doesn't know what to do. I don't even know, but hmm, whatever, man. Whatever. Is anyone there? No. Is anyone there? Nah, no one's here, man. No one's here. No one's here. We totally don't got like eight guys, a judge, and freaking a hair opponent. No, no one's here. No one's here, man. Don't worry about it. No one's here. These are all, you know, in a freaking dream right now. No, this is actually real, man. But it seems like a judge brought us some more watchers here. Well, we went to shout out all these watchers. Got Kakin Four back here. He was here at the very beginning, left. He came back, and he's back now. Got the Drowner of Hope, a Chan, King Slimoji for you, Rainbow Dash, Zacky Cards, Zork, the Dark Master. And unfortunately, VIP left. So it, was, it started with me and VIP here, and then. Um, he eventually left, so I'm the only one who has stayed there out the entire match, unfortunately, because I kind of have to, have to record this. But, yeah, I kind of wish I would have never stepped in this duel to begin with, but I mean, like I said, you never know what you're going to get. Whenever I step into a duel, you never know what you're going to get. Never know if it's going to be a 5-minute match or a 2-hour match. So after Borderlord, he activates Alistair. There isn't a reason he can't. He can't train a Borderlord, but he's not doing that, yeah. He's activating the old, his own damage, but he isn't chaining anything. Yeah, back to 2008-2009, Honest versus Honest, surprise. Well, there's still a lot of people that don't know the Honest versus Honest effect. Honest versus honest, it's player turn priority, use the honest first. And if you pass up that priority, whoever activates the honest first wins, even if there's multiple honest. So if you play honest, opponent plays honest, you chain another honest, whoever plays the first honest wins. So yeah. So you mean in the new chain there's a wait, so you mean he can in new chain in the same I, I don't know what that sentence means. <laughs> okay then, GG. Thanks, Admin. Ad that's GG, so finally it's over, because that's enough points for game. Get in there. Only an hour and nine minutes in real time. I don't know how short this is actually going to be when I speed this up. <laughs> long one, yeah. Y you think? You think? Long one. <laughs> Hour and ten minutes real time. I'm s sick of sitting here. Thanks for watching as always. Oh my god, what the frick just happened? Hopefully this will be less than 50 minutes when I speed it up, but probably not. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Until next time.